Hey there, I'm Eric Hurst from trainingforclimbing.com and I'm coming at you today with a brief New Year's 2019 message that I hope you'll find both informative and inspiring. Of course, typically here on the Training for Climbing channel, I'm presenting training tips and pro performance tips for rock climbers, helping you take your performance to the next level. Today's video, however, transcends climbing performance. It's about human performance. I'm going to present to you my conceptual model for accelerating progress in any important goal that you have, whether it is in sport, career, family, your work with a nonprofit or church, you name it, by applying this information, you will get to your goals more quickly. Okay then, let's get started. My Venn diagram has three parts, mission, focus, and action. Let's begin with a look at mission. That's the big idea or the mega goal. What are you after? What is the destination you want to achieve? Not today or tomorrow, but a few years from now. It must be specific. You need to create a clear, vivid, bright image in your mind's eye that you can leverage to create motivation for daily action. Kind of like an Olympian striving for a gold medal. I can imagine that person spending four years waking up each morning with that gold medal in their mind's eye and that driving them forward to work hard each day towards that goal and probably thinking about that gold medal and visualizing, perhaps standing on the podium as they fall asleep each night to kind of lay the seeds for the next day's action. Some good examples of mission, well, in the climbing world, that's easy. I can think of several. Tommy Caldwell, his free ascent of Dawn Wall on El Capitan took eight years, but he was a man with a mission and he got it done. Or Adam Andra, he established the world's hardest sport climb, 515D with his ascent of silence. That took him pretty much parts of two years to get there. Margot Hayes, her mission was to ascend 515A, the first female ascent of a consensus 515A. She did that with her ascent of biography. And of course, more recently, Alex Honnold, his free solo ascent of El Capitan was something he had been thinking about for 10 years and working on uh, diligently for the last few years, and he got the job done. And we're really proud of the example that those climbers have set for us. Of course, outside of the climbing world, you don't have to look any further than Elon Musk to have an example of a man with a mission, actually multiple missions. Again, the mission defines the man or woman. So determine what your mission is. What is your big idea? What is your mega goal? And then you're ready to move on to the next step, which is to be able to create solid, clear, consistent focus on reaching your goals. Nothing complex, innovative, or truly important can happen without focus. Focus is a skill that needs developed, kind of like building muscle. You need to be able to practice it on a daily basis, that ability to narrow your focus and think deeply and push out distractions, get into that flow state as it's called where time seems to stop and you can really tap into your creative side and the spiritual realm. This is where creative thinking, this is where innovation, this is where developing strategy for your mission comes about. Of course the opposite of focus and being in the zone is distraction which is sadly the common state I believe these days for many people. We're surrounded with distracting objects and media and people that are stealing our focus and therefore robbing us of the ability to pursue our mission effectively. Okay, so on we go to the third part, which is to take action. And not take action now and then or when you feel like it, but to take action on a daily basis, meaningful action. To have, as I like to say, a bias for action, which means it's your normal way of being. It's your normal state is to be a person of action. And in doing so, you will create steady progress and momentum, kind of like a snowball rolling downhill. You'll make faster and faster progress and get a sense of motivation and movement towards your mission. The time proven way to do this is to have a high quality to-do list. Each night before bed, write down the three or five things that you must get done the next day to help you on your way towards your mission and then wake up in the morning and hit the ground running. And of course, avoid getting pulled off course by taking action on trivial matters or getting caught in conflict with people that have nothing to do with your core mission. That will steal your focus and that will uh, dull your actions and prevent you ultimately from reaching your mission. 
Sadly, many people are stuck in the mud of procrastination, living a life of painful inaction and lost dreams. It's really a tragic loss of human potential. And I blame this. This represents things that distract you from your mission and distract your focus and steal your bias for action. This, of course, is the outline of my smartphone, but it can represent any electronic device or activity that steals your focus, that steals your time, the days, weeks, months, years of your life that you could be working towards this are consumed by that. And so that smartphone or any activity that consumes your time and takes you away from your mission, I like to think of it as your kryptonite. You know, Superman had his green kryptonite that really stole his strength. Well, the smartphone or whatever the distractions are in your life are your kryptonite. And by realizing that, hopefully you can get refocused, detached from this and drawn into this, the mission, the focus, the bias for action, and of course, the red intersection there, that is where the magic happens. The magic will never happen if this dominates your life. If kryptonite is stealing your mission, your focus, your action, this can't happen. So I guess what I'm passing on to you here as we enter the new year is to try to limit your exposure to the kryptonite, to the things that distract you, that take you away from your mission, and try to get into the zone where the magic happens, where you have a, a vision, the big idea fresh in your mind each day when you wake up. You have focus, you, you can quiet your mind and take consistent action on a daily basis and you will make massive progress towards your goals, whatever they may be. Well, that does it for my New Year's human performance video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please like the video and share it with some of your friends. I believe this is a powerful message for both climbers and non-climbers alike. Of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Training for Climbing channel and check back each month for a new video. I'm wishing you and yours a happy new year and hopefully a lot of time in the magic zone. That, my friends, is where real life happens.